right now even though we have the eight way locomotion you can see there are still some problems like sliding effects on the ground and mostly because it doesn't properly exactly match with the motion so right so as long as what we do is we are trying to uh, we move the character in certain direction according to the inputs of the player and then we are trying to match the animation to that direction so instead of doing it like that I'm going to try another approach based on road motion so that means we are playing the animation and according to the animation the characters direction will be defined so that means uh, it doesn't mean like player don't have any control over the direction player has to move uh, that only means like players say this is the way I want to move and then uh, the animation is played to move into that desired direction and based on that animation the movement will be added so right so to do that we need those eight uh, eight way locomotion animations with the rotation transferred to the root bone so that we can have proper root, root motion right and I have done that and as I had last time imported them without the rotation now I'll re-import them again because I have added the rotation also to the system to the root bone okay right now let's again select these animations all of them and set actions bulk edit via property matrix so here under road motion now I'll disable this one and enable road motion so okay now we can't move at all that's because as we have enabled root motion we can't apply movement input to the character no longer so let's go here and then so I'm gonna do this approach only for the player character because uh, the AI driven characters are not working based on moment inputs added uh, like the player so therefore I'm gonna do this only for the player character okay so first let's go to the CS soldier and then where do we have the moment input okay right here uh, yeah I'll leave it like this I don't think we need to change it anything here then um, in the class settings let's go to BPI character and let's add a function get desired velocity oh, I have enabled caps lock right so now this should return the velocity that the player need to achieve instead of what is the actual uh, velocity of the player that we can get through the character moment <laughs> right okay then let's go here we have this get desired velocity let's compile right 
now how do we return this how do we calculate the desired velocity so actually that we can yeah we can get control rotation and then based on that we can get the forward vector and also we can get the right vector okay now uh, by multiplying this with the move forward value we can see how much the character want to move forward and here multiplying this with the right value we can get how much this character wants to move to the right of the character and then add these two together so we can get the complete uh, velocity vector then let's uh, normalize this after that let's multiply this with the max moment Get max speed of the character moment so returns the maximum speed component speed of the component in current moment mode right then return it okay now let's go to the exo characters animation blueprint now this is the way I calculate this forward speed and side speed at the moment so it is based on the actual velocity of the character now instead of using it like that I'm going to use get desired velocity All right and let's use this to calculate the speeds now based on the desired velocity the character this animation will play one of the animations from here so from that animation the moment will be generated uh, using road motion right now let's see what happens well that's not what I expected so that's because of this we are using root motion here as the reference pose so instead of doing it like that I'll use animations first frame now let's see okay now it's it works properly and you can see we feel the characters movement better than before if I slow down the time you can see the sliding on the ground is minimized compared to the previous case you can see the character is kind of rotating as well uh, to match with the animation okay right now all right now here we have a little problem when I sprint forward instead of going directly forward character kind of uh, move to the right side so how to prevent that right uh, to figure out that let's open the sprint forward animation Sprint forward yeah here okay let's look at this from the top perspective and I'll stop the animation in the first frame here if I select the root we have 16 rotation in the Z direction I think that should be the problem 
see the character is not actually uh, looking at the forward direction so to prevent that maybe what if I use the reference force here okay now you can see this rotation became zero all right let's see if the problem is fixed now so once we start playing we don't have the control of the character until we click somewhere here so to prevent that I'll go to event graph and after the begin play let's use this set uh, input mode to game only like this now we have control once we start the game but still the problem doesn't seem like fixed let's see oh we have this problem what is this all right let's we are rotating the character if there is a speed so because of the root motion even for the idle motion i guess now we have some moment let's see yeah we have a smaller moment so therefore to fix that we use something like three here so we should be able to get rid of that yeah now character doesn't rotate Okay. Right. Still, the problem is not fixed. All right. Let's go here again and okay let's try the first frame again oh. no all right then oh when i use first frame we still have the 60. we can do something like this let's try to okay in the import rotation to cancel out this 16 let's try it in a minus 16 so we should be able to align this one okay did it work no right so as this didn't work I'll remove it okay what if I add a key here by making this zero And then reverse. No, it didn't work either. Right, uh, let's try downloading that animation, importing that animation without rotation transfer. And after the re import, you can see this has become zero. Now let's see. okay now it works it goes straight without any issue 
to the direction I'm looking at and we can be certain of it because in the left side the moment is forward moment is 598 and the other one is 0 okay so it seems like that's the solution we have to we can't use the animations with the rotation transfer yeah anyway let's see if we have any other problems in other animations let's first make uh, there is some rotation let's make it zero first so that we can test this properly let's start from here If I move forward you can see character is little bit try going to the right side for sprinting we don't have that problem let's but for walking it seems the character does move to the right side a little bit as we go forward yeah it's obvious now okay <clears throat> so walk forward <clears throat> yeah we have 40 okay and after re-importing without true transfer right now without the rotation it works properly and we can be certain of it because it becomes zero in the forward component for running it doesn't all right so let's re-import all the animations without the rotation but part but of course uh, except these because we need rotation for them and report so you see a lot of trial and error well that's because I am learning as I do and I'm sharing while I'm learning with you guys so okay well that's because I believe when you see someone make mistakes you can learn from those mistakes too so that's why I keep even though I could cut this part I would don't want to do that okay all right and 
and now everything works as intended for crouching as well Now foot seems more firm on the ground compared to the previous implementation. Alright, so I'll stop this episode at this point. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. The link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. Also, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Goodbye.